So hi, my name's Ashley, I'm at Port Southern and I'm looking at the brand new Prestige 460S that we have for sale. Uh, she's ashore here as you can see. Before we go on board though, I'd love to show you a couple of things that are worthy of uh, further detail below the waterline. Working from the bow, firstly we see she has the optional bow thruster fitted, uh, which is great because alongside the IPS drive she's got, it makes it completely maneuverable, even when very, very short-handed. As I move to the back, you can see the stern drives in place there. They're actually um, winterized for the moment. When we move to the back here, we can see both the Lenko trim tabs, which are an option, and also the very powerful hydraulic bathing platform. Here it's in up position, and uh, this will take quite a sizable dinghy or river board. So I'll show you that when we go up on deck. Nicely tucked away as part of the bathing platform also, an integral bathing platform ladder, uh, which pulls out and drops down. Very clever. Looking from the cockpit now, this colossal bathing platform is not just uh, uh, a wonderful place to store a dinghy or rib, but it's also quite a sizable area for enjoyment and sitting out on if you want to have direct access with the water. When we come into the cockpit, we see one of the big, big plus points of the Prestige 460 with this enormous L-shaped seating area in the saloon. It's massive. It's six people easy, maybe even eight, and a sizable table underneath, uh, which you can adjust for height. And uh, that's a big table uh, for a lot of conviviality and enjoyment of this very, very social area. From the cockpit also, you've got direct access down a very simple ladder here to the engine bay. Uh, you can see the engines are winterized at the moment. But if I go down here, you'll see there's just a lot of space. It's really nicely laid out and there's a lot of space in here for storage and for other electric and electronic equipment. So water makers, other bits and pieces, all got plenty of space inside this very big engine bay. We'll talk a lot about space on this boat and storage. Uh, here's just one more example here. Just simple storage, even the smallest of spaces. Prestige have managed to make another locker out of it. And same on the other side. Just more space, really clever. Before I lift this seating cushion, just a reminder, this is a 46 footer. This is not a 60 footer. But when I lift here, we look inside to a colossal storage space. Big area, fenders, warps, um, all your toys, they'll all fit in here. It's even got uh, lighting and a 12 volt socket as well. So you can use it for tools and other accessories and even blowing up your favorite stand-up paddleboard. And windows out onto the bathing platform. I'm gonna take you a quick walk around the side decks onto the foredeck uh, and you'll see both on the foredeck and in this cockpit, there's the upgraded Abacus interior and outdoor upholstery. Really comfortable, really hard wearing, and uh, super luxurious. Great side rails as we walk down the side of the boat. Really nice, strong handrails, both on the inside and outside. So you can hold on both sides, super, super safe. So as we get up into the foredeck here, what a great area. Three separate uh, sunbathing pads here. Superb layout. You can see I've got one set up there because you can even tilt the leg area uh, so you can get very, very comfortable. Really, really good. Coming onto the bow, you can see not just uh, the foredeck cleats, but some really nice uh, anchor set up there um, with the windlass. There is actually, on this boat, there is actually a repeat controller at the helm station as well. On both sides of the anchor locker, yet more storage, even more again. You can see here, big, big storage areas, both sides. Um, and this one's even got the water inlet and a fresh water pump to wash down the decks. I love these. Two big LED spots on the back of the coach roof, looking down on the transom. Really bright, uh, very good search lights when you need them. One more thing to note before we go down into the cabins, we've got two very big speakers in the cockpit here. They're Bowers and Wilkins speakers. And likewise, in the headlining of the saloon, 
to run these four speakers this boat is fitted with the Bauer & Wilkins audio pack which gives a subwoofer in the saloon and it also has an entertainment pack which brings in a media server and a Wi-Fi hub. We're going to move inside now but just before we do take a look at this twin sliding doors to get a really nice big open access and you're straight into the kitchen area here the full kitchen area so between the kitchen area and this open cockpit seating area in the cockpit you've got a great area for socializing right at the back of the galley to spoil you even further out pulls a lovely pleated blind that goes all the way across the back of the boat where the patio doors are to enclose you and make it really nice and cozy warm in the evenings and give you some privacy a little tour around the galley area now we start with the upgraded combi microwave oven and a colossal fridge and freezer so really up to the job if not more good to see the all-important drink storage and yes I've spoken about storage plenty of times but we'll carry on you come into the galley and there's even more eye level lockers here as well as lockers of all shapes and sizes down below the galley in terms of different units here for stowage in the galley area colossal look at the size of this drawer here just wonderful and cupboards superb so a really nice galley so let's have a look around the boat now you are looking at the saloon of the Prestige 460S. She's got the LP grey oak woodwork and the brushed light oak, light oak hardened floors. Uh, I'll show you the floors because we can see them in the galley here. So it's a really light, bright open and very, very contemporary feel to the inside of this boat. Um, this boat has the option of uh, the Brittany Taupe upholstery which gives a lovely finish in here a very warm but uh, very practical uh, interior on the boat and um, these are the Vogue carpets which go through into the master cabin as well moving here before we go any further this is a high-low table so this will drop um, and spin out and drop so that you've got it used for it as a uh, double berth conversion as well I've left the blinds open. There are blinds all the way around this boat. Really nice blinds. I'll pull one down just so you can have a look. Really smart blinds with nice handles. The sort of quality stuff that we've come to see from Prestige. Uh, but with the blinds up, you can see, and I left them up just to show you, it's a wonderful, wonderful vista and panorama you have on this boat looking around. Really lots of light coming in here. All the way around and even round to the back. We can see here the patio doors I mentioned when they slide open you've got a great throughput of air and a hell of a lot of light. Another thing that contributes to the lightness of this interior is this wonderful superb very large opening sunroof here. It's an enormous area once it's open and it brings in a hell of a lot of light into the saloon as well as some air and a lovely feeling sensation when you're driving along. Looking out from the starboard side of the saloon Quite opposite the seating area is a little white shelf, click of a switch and hey presto you've got one of the optional Samsung 32 inch TVs that hides away when you really don't want to see a TV but when it's open you've got fantastic visibility from the whole sofa area in the saloon, superb. So at the helm station, really nice seat, very, very comfortable and plenty of room for two. Uh, and they've gone through some clever thoughts, having a foot brace and even a handhold there. So you can be very comfortable even in inclement weather. This boat comes fitted with two Raymarine Axiom 12 screens. She's also got the Quantum 2 radar fitted. She has the Ray 91 VHF and an autopilot. The electronics fitted mean that there is a Volvo interface as well. So very useful talking of the Raymarine to Volvo and the information coming up on the Raymarine screens. And of course, one of the special things about this boat 
is the IPS drive. This joystick makes it super, super easy for anyone to drive the boat. In fact, when IPS came back, when my daughter was 12 years old, she was actually better at parking a boat than I was. When the roof is shut, you've also got big blinds that open both sides so you can still have plenty of light coming into the saloon from both sides. Even with the roof shut. Lovely touch. We're going down into the cabins area of the boat now. You'll see really nice solid strong stainless handrail here with a nice covering on it. This is the VIP stateroom. Firstly the double bed it converts into two single berths but as you see it here this is two meters by 1.5 meters that's six foot six by five foot. It's a superbly sized bed for um, your guests. You can see above us here plenty of light and air. This is an opening hatch and light and these both have really nice blinds that cover or even mosquito screens. As we look around the VIP stateroom we can see great locker space on both sides vanity units, lovely light throughout this wonderful cabin, blinds Venetian blinds that come down both sides you can see here the other vanity unit and again more stowage space. Superb. So before we leave the VIP stateroom, we take a look at the ensuite heads and shower compartment. Lovely compartment, extractor fan, keep it nice and dry, and a superb, very contemporary wash basin area there. Again, with again plenty of storage behind the mirror. In the hallway, one further door, which is a door to the same VIP heads and shower. So you've got direct access to this without going through the stateroom, access at day heads. The other side of the hallway, we have access to the master cabin. This is a full beam master cabin. And as you come into the area, which has its own separate door to partition it off from the rest of the hallway, Firstly, on the outside of the boat here, you have, again, a really contemporary, lovely, very large heads compartment, shower, extractor fan, and some superb storage behind these mirrors. We're looking at the owner's cabin here, and you see, just like in the guest cabin, a freshwater flush toilet. Just heading from the owner's own hallway down into the owner's cabin now. As I said, this is a full beam cabin, so you've got wonderful light from both sides, each with a porthole, and fabulous storage all the way along both sides. This is a two meter by 1.6 meter uh, wide bed, so great space, really, really large bed, very comfortable too. So I'll just give a zoom around this cabin here, so you get an idea about the size, the brightness, the space, and the very clever design of it. It's a beautiful area and it's a very, very big area. I've opened up some of the lockers here so you can see again, storage is there's plenty of it. Even a very clever vanity unit that pops out of one of the drawers and leaves you space underneath. Space all along in very accessible storage units. Something I must point out that is very prestige is this superb recessed lighting here that gives a nice ambiance to the cabins even in night time. I've opened up some more storage lockers on the starboard side of the master cabin for you to see here. All great units to be able to access and put bits and pieces in. And then, really special, a superb hanging wardrobe in here with lots of space. That goes back around the corner. So that's a big locker. I'd say that was probably one and a half meters tall, so plenty of height for dresses. 
uh, and that's probably a metre and a half wide as well. And if that's not enough storage for you, here behind this dressing mirror is the same again. Another hanging locker. Plenty, plenty of space. Nicely lit. Hanger. Full height. That's probably one metre sixty. Uh, plenty of height for all your clothes in this separate locker. Looking from the aft end of the master cabin, this boat is also fitted with a 32 inch TV. Samsung TV on the main bulkhead. There's plenty to talk about with the Prestige 460S. The IPS drive, the proven hull, very good at sea. But for me, it's just this fabulous combination of space, of stowage, of light, and of visibility all round, whether you're in the cabins or in the saloon. It's a super boat, and we look forward to showing you on board soon. Thank you.